Hi, this is a quick tutorial on making a banner ad with Banner Maker Pro. Let's get started. The first thing to know is all of these tabs up the top, size, background, shapes, images, text, text plus, save, and animation will help guide you through creating a banner. So all you need to do is just click on the tabs and you'll be brought to just kind of the major features that you need to use. So the first thing is selecting a size. Here are all the common web graphic sizes and you can also make any custom size. So first thing you do is select the size. We're gonna use this one for our tutorial. And once you're done with that, click on the next tab. And the next tab are backgrounds and there's four different backgrounds, colors, uh, gradients, where you, it goes from one color to another and you can choose different ways of doing that, vertical, horizontal, sphere, all kinds of things. You can add a background image and we have a whole host of background images that you can choose. So you can just click there and get one of those. And we also have a list of animations that you can use for the background. So you can add in your text and other images on top. For this tutorial, we're just gonna use a gradient and now we've done our background. So the next thing we wanna go is to add our shapes, images, and text. Uh, shapes come in uh, probably 20 different types. So you choose a diamond or an arrow or a star, and you can just place it wherever you want. If you want to add another one, you just do that. Uh, we're not gonna use any, so we're just gonna go ahead and right click and delete them. And once you've added your shapes, or you can just go and add your images. Uh, we have a whole host of images that come with it, and you can just uh, scroll through here. We're just going to click on a click here button, and we're going to move it over here and use these arrow keys to put it in place, and there we go. So once we do that, and you can add in multiple images. If you want to add in text, this is what you do. You just start typing, and here we go, and we'll make it larger and black on blue and black isn't going to work so we'll change this color to white and we'll move it over a little bit and all of these fonts that you see here come um they're just using the windows font so if you have a particular font you like on your system you can do that and there's all kinds of websites that you can do to add uh, fonts to windows and that's all you need so we're just going to use one of these here this is a little interesting one so Move that there, and you can increase the letter spacing, or decrease it, or make it bold and italic, and that's pretty much it. And we're going to add a border here, so let's add a border around the text, help make it stand out. And we use black, and move it over, and there we go. So uh, you've got all these different uh, bold, italic, strikeout, underline, transparency. Uh, we also have shadows and angles and curved text. I want you to do that. You could just save it if you just wanted a static banner, but if you want animation, you can click on animation and have, there's actually four different animations. One was the background that we saw earlier. There's one step animation where it animates the entire thing. There's slideshow that takes two static banners and combines them with an animation in between. And frame by frame actually uh, takes the, the image down to the individual frame level. So, uh, the easiest one is one step animation, and you can just go through the different things that, uh, the different types of animations, and just pick one you like. And there's, uh, there's a hundred something, I think, that we have available, and you can just see all the different ones we've got. Zoom, and oh, I like the puzzle pieces, they're always nice. So, if you got one you like, you can click on save, the name, save it, and there you go. Here it is in the browser. It's, this one's 23K, which is pretty small, and that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do to create a banner ad uh, that's animated. Uh, thanks for watching, and this was using Banner Maker Pro.